Hello, this is Ike from Spot Time London and today we are in East London. The location is right in between Homerton Station and Hackneywick. We have Hackneywick Overground about an 8 minute walk away and in the other direction we'll have Homerton. That's going to be a little bit further, about a 10-11 minute walk, also with the Overground. Now, we're in a great location. I mean, we have Victoria Park right across the street. So if you're an outdoorsy type of person, this is going to be a great place to rent. We also have Victoria Park uh, restaurants further down so that's going to be about a five to ten minute walk and you can go out there and get something nice to eat. So with that said I'm going to be showing you one bedroom so let's go ahead and see it. So here's just the front entrance area so we'll have the street and then we can see the park all the way across. So now as we enter we'll have the corridor and there's some shelving to the left which you can perhaps store some letters and then some hooks to the left of that where you can hang a jacket. So here's the hallway and it features a couch. We'll have the radiator for central heating. And then to the right is going to be actually bedroom two as the first bedroom is downstairs. We do have an outdoor kind of patio deck area which we'll see when we come back upstairs. But first we'll see all the way down at the bottom we have the kitchen and then on the way up we can see everything else. So here's the kitchen, it's very spacious. Of course we're down on the lower ground floor so outside we'll get a view of the trees and grass and on this end of the kitchen we'll have the dining room table, it's a very nice feature and we can see on the left or on the right side of the kitchen as you walk in we'll have some shelving as well for extra storage. Now as for storing your food and keeping it cold we'll have this fridge, freezer up above, another one at the entrance of the kitchen. So we've got that there and then the freezer below that. Along the countertop you can see the stove with an oven underneath, the microwave and then the washing machine down below. Of course the sink and then a, num a number of cabinets and cupboards up along the top to store any food you may want to store in the kitchen. So in here again some storage, got some glasses up top there and that's the kitchen. So then also this is going to be bedroom one, it's currently occupied. Down here is just some storage under the steps. So we've got that there for any extra items. And as we head on upstairs, this what we saw here on the left would be the bathroom. So we've got the radiator to the right followed by the toilet, then sink in this corner, and around to the left, we'll have the shower. Outside here is gonna be the deck area, so we can just see it from here, in fact. So we just got that, and then there's a chair to the side. And, so of course we've just seen outside in the deck area there, and it curves around to the corner. So that's going to be the bathroom which we've just come from. Now, up another flight of steps. We'll see bedroom three, as well as second bathroom. So in here, we've got the sink to the right, as well as some shelving down below. Mirrored cabinet doors up top and then the bathtub and then a view outside that overlooks the street and we can see some of the park. Of course there's the toilet and very tall ceilings. So next is the bedroom, bedroom three. Here's the room. It's a big room, we've got a double bed in the centre. Two large windows along the wall, 
go up quite higher and they're letting in a lot of sunlight. As we step inside and pan around, we can see the built-in wardrobe space and the chest of drawers beside the bed. So in here we've got four drawers. They're all quite deep. And then a desk opposite that, along with a nightstand. And then again, we can see the radiator there. So as for inside of the wardrobe, we've got the space to the left to hang your clothes and on the right shelf and multiple drawers. Now on this side, we've got a little bit more wardrobe space. You can see the rail up top to hang your clothes and then again, some more drawers there. And then finally, up these steps is just going to be the final bedrooms, bedroom four and five. So we're not going to be viewing those today, but then we also have a window here so we can see out here. And essentially that concludes it for this tour today. So I hope you've enjoyed the room, bedroom three. And for more information, make sure to check out spotone.com. Bye-bye.